Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about not pulling your weight. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, how does a product manager address a software engineer in their team that is not pulling their weight? Well, usually it starts by complaints or uh, okay, it's usually one of two things, either the, uh, the team complaints or like because usually you have some type of dialogue between the co-workers in your team uh, they usually don't in some cases they will actually address it directly with the person but in many cases they will just silently go to the PO or like the manager and say that uh, we're getting a little bit delayed it usually happens uh, that way or uh, it's very obvious because the thing is that uh, we have these practices such as stand-ups and re re retros and so forth within the IT industry and it's usually the case that you have a vague understanding at the very least how long something's going to take and if something is taking vastly longer or it's being delayed because one specific person is involved and if you start to see a pattern in that behavior that usually things take longer as soon as that person is involved even the PO will notice it even if they may not be the first person to notice it it's they're definitely gonna notice it so that's usually how it goes you're not pulling your weight things are taking too long or having a lot of issues and so forth and if somebody tells on you or the PO figures it out figures it out right so the first things that are gonna happen is depending on the company now if we go with the vicious companies first they're basically going to threaten you immediately and say that we see that you are under delivering uh, we expect to see a drastic improvement or we're going to let or we're going to let you go that's usually how it goes uh, in the nicer companies uh, they are going to start off by asking okay like are there some issues is there something that is unclear what can we do to help you uh, what's going on they're going to try to understand what's going on with your situation and try to talk to you first and in these sorts of conversations, uh, I can speak for my own company, we usually have a, a, a in-depth discussion of what we talk, call a heart-to-heart. -heart. And then we talk, and we just talk it through. Like there's, we, we try to build a very comforting environment to, so that people feel comfortable uh, speaking about these things. Because the thing is that uh, usually hiring a software developer costs a lot of money it costs money to find them it costs hours and work like a, a lot of money to just train them to a certain point even i mean unless they're underperforming from day one you usually you, they're usually around for a little while so if we can make this work if there's something fixable in the situation that's actually going to be like even if we're going to be as uh, as shallow as just saying that if we're, it's just about it's just business right even from just a pure business perspective trying to figure out if there's something cheap we can do is the best action here and if we go with the being a decent human thing trying to hear somebody out and trying to actually help them as a co-worker and a fellow human being is probably a nice thing to do so that's where we start so we have this conversation and we try to figure out what's going on and then uh, depending on the outcome of that if it's a temporary thing or like they say that oh yeah i'm just feeling really stressed or something like that or they say that yeah i, I find these things really hard and i don't really understand how to do things we try to work something out we try to figure out okay is there some like is there some way we can make this easier for you can we put you on like we still have a minimum requirement right but are there certain thing tasks that we can put you on or even better is there someone we can pair you with can we put you together with some other senior developer or can we put you in touch with learning resources can we direct you somehow so that maybe you can go on your own time and uh, learn some of the things that you need to learn in order to do this or like how can we help you get to where you need to be in order to meet the requirements of this company that's the first thing that we do and then we do that see how it goes we t say that okay we're going to reevaluate how the situation looks in x amount of time units right and this process can happen a few times depending on situation I mean, we, it might vary a little bit of course uh, but finally we're gonna uh, there's going to be a hard cut point where we say okay uh, we're not seeing the results that we want to see uh, either uh, we're going to have to talk about letting you go or we're going to have to say that we uh, that we expect you to be at a certain point by this time, and if you uh, if you if you want to try this again, we are open to that. But 
this will be the final time we feel that we can make this investment, right? And it depends a little bit from person to person. It's as you were, as I was saying earlier, that's like uh, this is the long version of the rough, rough uh, uh, example where they just jump to this immediately. They basically say it immediately, and so then the person usually gets the the option. Okay, do you want to continue doing this? Because usually you can always come to some type of mutual understanding. I mean, even the developer in case in this case is smart enough to understand that yeah this is not really working out and I don't really feel like this is this place for me to work so it's a mutual usually we end at the mutual understanding this like fictional idea that all oh, just people just come in and uh, then they fire you even though you're a super you're a nice developer and you love working there it's not usually the way it goes it's usually is a misfit where the developer is not performing and usually when you're not performing you're not comfortable in the company so it's still not a good work environment for you and all that stress you can you can let that go uh, or rather you can't let it go but if you if you stop working here or you find somewhere where you are better suited or some other path through life you might actually feel better about the whole situation and it usually it doesn't get to the point where the company goes no actually we have to prioritize ourselves now because you're just not good enough so what I want you to take away from this is that usually the way it goes with someone who's not pulling their weight is number one, you either get your that your coworkers notice it and they tell on you to your PO and they will have a conversation with you, or uh, the PO themselves uh, or your manager starts noticing that whenever you are involved, things are a little bit slower, it takes a lot longer and so forth. Uh, it can be as hybrid of both, but these are usually the two cases. And depending on the company, either they will immediately go and say that, yeah, we are going to have to see an improvement by a certain amount of time, or we're going to have to let you go. In the nicer companies, they will talk with you first and try to set up some type of roadmap for improvements and like things that we can do in order to make the situation better. Uh, but if that's not going to help, we're at some point going to go and say, yeah, you're going to have to make a decision. Either we have to see a fairly drastic improvement in your performance, and these are the things that we are expecting you to do, or we're gonna have to let you go. And you can decide if you want to make that investment or if you wanna just skip that and go find somewhere else to work. And that's that. these are usually the ways that you handle this sort of, this sort of thing. Uh, it's, uh, it's the only way, uh, it's the only sane way to manage the situation because the person who is underperforming is very often a very nice person uh, that means well and they are feel, they're usually feeling a lot of stress by this point. Uh, and so this is not a good environment for them and if they don't feel comfortable it's probably better for them and for the company to just like end this relationship it's very rare that you have this type of douchebag type of idiot to just like uh, who doesn't see a problem with the thing and just doesn't give a shit uh, it can happen in certain companies but in the companies who have even a remote understanding of how to hire good people you usually don't get in that sort of person in the first place have a great day